Welcome back everybody to One Good Scare. It's myself, Pierre, and of course James. Um, and we're here to talk all kinds of things, ghoulies and spookies and monsters Ooh. and shit. So we've got a lot of news to get through tonight, James. There's so much all news. Kinds it's of stuff insane. Happening, isn't it? Yeah. Um, now, 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 now. It's not a One Good Scare show without some scream news. So have we got some scream news tonight? We've got some big juicy scream news. We do of indeed. Course. Of yes, course we've absolutely. got scream news. Because I know you you start to panic if we haven't got scream news. So we've had some news around good old Nev Campbell again. And as predicted, they've probably hoyed a whole wadge of cash at her and just come back to the franchise. Is that I right? Just, just imagine the, the biggest shitting in green she had on her face when they called her and been like, yeah, what name your price, I think. They needed to do this to save the movie. So Nev Campbell is returning to Scream 7. Uh, she's on board and she shared a, a, a tweet, I think, a tweet, this picture of the yeah. script. Um, but the other interesting fact of this is that Kevin Williamson is directing it. Kevin Williamson wrote the original Scream, so he's the creator okay. of the franchise. He wrote uh, 1 and 2, then he left for three, which is, I think, the reason why three had like, a significant dip in quality. Yeah. And then he came back for four, and he's not been attached to the other ones. So he's only directing. Uh, he's not writing it, which I think is an interesting choice. Now, he's directed one movie before. It was um, a 90s one. Um, Teaching Mrs. Tingle, I think it's called. It's supposed to be terrible. Okay. Um, so like, it's, I think this is like an interesting choice. Now, I think this this part of the reason they've done this is to win back some goodwill with the fans, I feel. Yeah. Like you're getting the creator of the franchise to come and helm this one. But he's not a director. He's not really got a directing style. So I feel like this it could go strange, either way. doesn't it? It seems a bit odd. Like, yeah. he's obviously someone who understands the franchise. But, like, uh, you know, th- there's no indication from this what his kind of visual yeah, yeah. elements yeah. he's going to put into this, like what his style is, you know? Yeah. Yeah, in any way. We, we were talking we were a little while ago. You were a bit worried that this could be the end of the Scream franchise. It's entirely possible oh, it was. Yeah. So obviously we're happy to see something else coming in this franchise, in this universe. So mm. we'll, we'll look forward to getting more information as time goes on about this, I think. Um, what the hell is this? What's this? So, I mean, obviously that's Bride of Frankenstein, yeah? Yeah, so Maggie Gyllenhaal is directing a remake of Bride of Frankenstein. So um, it's not it's from you... As far as I can tell, it's from Warner Brothers. It's not from Universal, so I, I don't know. Is there a okay. book like Brian Frankenstein book? Oh, I couldn't tell you, mate. I couldn't tell. Yeah. you. I don't think so. I think, I think. I mean, the, the guys watching, please let me know in the comments. But I think Bride of Frankenstein was very much created for that Universal kind of monsters universe. I don't yeah. remember a featuring in any of the original books. Well, that's that's the interesting. Thing is, as far as I can tell, Universal's not attached to this, so it's it's got an amazing cast. It's got Christian Bale, uh, Peter Sarsgaard. Um, Penelope Cruz is playing the the bride. Isn't okay, it? right. So I'm like, right. yeah, this this sounds really interesting. I'm I'm really looking forward to, yeah. to this. So this is scheduled he, for October t- next year. We seem to be getting a bit of a resurgence in kind of classic horror franchises. So always pleased to see. It'll be interesting to see what they make of this one. Yeah, we have got um, the Wolfman coming this October. Yeah. So that's that is Universal. That's Lee Wanell, uh who did yeah. the Invisible Man. So yeah, curious if they're going to go like if they're going to go kind of classic. You know, almost like black and white that style, or if they're gonna, yeah. it's gonna be a modern version, maybe. I don't know. I think I'd be interested in seeing black and white. I think it worked really well for Werewolf by Night, yeah. so it'd it, be interesting to see some of that. It's interesting to me as well to do Bri- a Bride of Frankenstein movie when you don't have a Frankenstein like movie as the base to yeah, attach yeah, to. That's, to very, no? that's very true. That's very true. Yeah. Unless they're just assuming everybody knows the Frankenstein story, which most people probably do. But yeah. like you say, it's, it's odd not to... So will Frankenstein feature at all, do you think? Is he I would assume be... he is. I, I would have thought Christian Bale was going to play him, but I think he's playing a detective, so I've not seen who is playing Frankenstein in it, but um, we'll Interesting. see. Interesting. Interesting. That's a good one. Nosferatu. No, it's not, man. It's Sam Salem. This, 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 this is Sam's lot. So yeah. we were talking about this a couple of weeks ago, yeah, a couple yeah. of shows ago, that, that it might be cancelled. shelved it, didn't they? Yeah. yeah, so it's coming to... It's skipping cinemas now. So Warner Brothers okay. announced it's coming to Max this year. So I would imagine right. probably around October. So we're finally we're actually going to get this movie. So I'm 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 excited. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. I was upset to to know that they were going to potentially bin it originally. So you know, I'm not bothered about seeing it at the cinema. I'm happy enough to just see it in any form. So that mm. that's good news. I'm pleased about that. I'm pleased yeah, about yeah. that. Look forward to it. I still think we need to watch um, Salem's Lot and, and do a review show on that because the original is very very cool. It'd be nice if it's around, I think in November we have a f- couple of free slots, so it'd be nice yeah, if it was yeah. slot, to slot it in there, you know. Um, that'd be good to see, yeah. 
Very cool. I like that. Mm. Ooh, bit of Halloween. Yep. So the Miramax have talked about, you know, there was a, a Halloween uh, TV show that they were talking about doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's going to be a creative reset. So they're going back to the original movie and they're talking about it's going to just, just take on from that and that it might explore characters that are in that movie, some characters that maybe aroundish that we haven't met yet. I think this is the right way to go. I really want this set in the 70s. Like, like pick up pretty much directly after the original one. Because um, yeah. my, my favourite thing that they've done with Halloween in the last like since those kind of reboot movies was that opening sequence of kills where it was oh, in the seventies yeah, and they mimic that seventies yeah. style. So if you do a TV show of Lash, I'm, I'm fucking all for it, man. I'm not even annoyed that like already we're getting another reboot from the original, you know, and yeah. knocking that other ones out of continuity. But wasn't this supposed to be some kind of like Halloween universe in the connected universe that we're all going to tie in? Cause we're talking at one point about it potentially being kind of tales from the Halloween universe. Yeah. So the, they did talk it's a yeah Halloween cinematic universe almost. Mm. And the, when they said that, they've not really elaborated on what that means. My assumption was that they were going to do other spooky stories that are set in the same universe yeah. and like maybe do like a Season of the Witch kind of inspired thing again or, or a remake mm. of that or something. Um, so we don't know yet what that, what that actually means. But we are getting a Michael Myers TV series at the very least. Um, so yeah, I mean, put in the seventies, put all these in the seventies. I think like yeah, have to give them all a very Carpenter esque visual style, uh, with the music and everything. I mean, I'd love, absolutely love that. So I hope this, I hope this, this comes soon. Anyway. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, yeah. I think this will be cool. I think this. Will Are be you happy cool. that Michael like because after. You know, ends was supposed to be the end of it. Like, are you? How do you feel about the fact that they're just like oh, we're bringing them back? doesn't bother us in the slightest to be honest different it's a different universe a different iteration of the character isn't it do you know what i mean i I think i would have more of a problem if this was a direct sequel to that last movie because he featuring michael because he clearly dies in that movie you kind of get away from that do you know what i mean you see him fed into the wood literally just obliteration yeah Yeah. Yeah. i mean we've seen we've seen villains come back from worse i know it would be silly do you know what i mean yeah saying that the entire franchise is silly really isn't it um I, i don't know i I kind of, I kind of want to get back to, not a supernatural killer, just a nut hour with a knife. You know what I yeah. mean? I think that's that's what this is going to be. The yeah. the anthology thing does make me think there's going to be some supernatural elements in the other things. Maybe that'll yeah. link to yeah. this. Um, but I think they're going to go very classic Halloween with with this. And yeah, I think yeah. that's cool. Like to get to know some of the characters so that we care about them. And there's going to be yeah. a week to week. Oh my god, was- this character died. You know. I mean, I know we've talked about it before, but I was surprised at how much I enjoyed Rob Zombie's Halloween, apart from the kind of the opening weird bits that were very Rob Rob Zombie-esque. Have you watched the second one yet, no? No, not yet. second one's bizarre. Like, it's so weird. And they're going to do some weird stuff with the third one. It was actually, um, I forgot to mention this, and I'll be right back. The director for, the director and writer from My Believe Valentine 3D were were signed on for that. So it was going to be Halloween 3D. And there's going to be a continuation of that, so like they were going to do a like mm-hmm. literally like my Blade Valentine, but a Halloween movie. I love um, my Blade Valentine. Yeah, three yeah, yeah. D can stay in the past. I'm not bothered about seeing more three D. Yeah, to see. not that, not that fast. Ooh, I love the Final Destination franchise. One of my yeah. favorite kind of movie series is this, and I know they're cheesy, and I know they you know they're, they're not the best, but I love that excitement of working out how the deaths are going to happen i like the yeah. more elaborate deaths do you know what i mean just, um, just the tension of it i think is yeah. so so good you know so um yeah final destination bloodlines this fashion six i think That's um right. has begun production so this is directed by zap lipovsky and adam steiner zach lipovsky directed uh leprechaun origins which mm-hmm. was the Remember the kind of serious reboot one? Yeah. That is awful. That is like considered like like I you know ones out of ten and two out of ten kind of across the board. So that's a bit iffy. But then his co-directors Adam Stein, so they worked on a couple of things there. They did a Kim Possible movie for Disney Plus. Okay, yeah, um, which is apparently decent for what it is. So this could go either way. I feel. I mean, I'm, I mean, Final Destination movies. Like I, I love most of all of them. There's none of them I don't like. Yeah. And I know four in particular is like pretty bad. Five, I think, is a very solid movie. Yeah. Um, so, like, you know, just, all this really needs to deliver is some weird, cool kills in it. You know, that's interesting all really kills. That's all I ask for. Interesting kills. Do you know what I mean? Something I've not seen before is, is what I want, really, from yeah. this franchise. Tony Todd is coming back for it as well. So that's exciting. Okay. Yeah. So he's the, the kind of. People think he's death in it, but he's like the. the um, 
a coroner or something like he shows we've up. Not, kind of a, we've not really seen the the death entity, have we? So in the first one, there's a sort of like a shadow or like a black smoke kind of thing in one scene. And they literally never came back to it. They never showed it yeah. again. So I was like, yeah, there was like a personification I that you saw. I don't want a personification of it. I don't think I want to see the, the, the whatever it is. I, I just want it to be fixed. Oh, 100%. You know I mean? Absolutely. Like, it's just, yeah. it's just, you know, you, you see it without seeing it kind of thing. Yeah. You know? um, yeah. What would you like the accident to be? Ooh, well, what have we had? We've had plane crash. We've had the roller coaster. We had a but bridge. The, I, I love the, um, the car crash one. With the trucks. Yeah, it's NASCAR. Yeah, 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 that was very cool. I, I'd like know, um, a boat, like a, a, a the cruise liner or something like that. Yeah, I think it'd be a really cool that. one. Have I had a train? No, I don't think we've had a train. I don't have a train. I don't, have we had a train? <laughs> this is awful. Was two. <laughs> two was a pilot. Ca- two, two might be the what kind of <laughs> massive kind of accidents we'd like. Yeah. Um, two, two was a highway crash, and that was awesome. That was a really great one. Yeah. That still affects me, like when you're in on the, on the motorway. And there's a car, yeah, there's like a, yeah. a truck with like wooden logs or something, just like oh, yeah. pipes or whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think we've got a train. Uh, a boat is what I'd like to see anyway, like an, a cruise mm. liner or something like that. Be be cool, cruise ship. I dig that. So I'd like to see that. Can I wait? I'm looking forward to that one. That's uh, that'll be a good fun film, I think. Curious when it's going to be because it's. Um, if it's filming now, like the you know horror movies tend to come out pretty quick, so yeah. that might be this year. Like, mm-hmm. Saw's not even started production yet, I don't think, and, like, that's this year, apparently, so, let's see. James, this is an interesting looking story. So, this is Maxine. Um, this is the third film in the entire West's the X trilogy. <laughs> so, you, you've only seen Pearl? I've only seen Pearl, and it was X, this, this is, so, Pearl is the prequel to X, and this is the sequel to X, so, so that's the main character, for Maxine, from, from X. Um, spoiler that she doesn't die in there, I guess. But, um... Yeah, so this finally got a release date, so it's coming out j- July 5th. Um, but just in America, for some reason, we're not getting it until August. Okay. And I'm pissed because that fucks us up a little bit because I had it, like, for I'll Be Right Back and, like, you know, we're going to have a, a standalone review for it at that point. Um, so what's it about? What What's it actually about? Um, so I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, very, like, so X is kind of like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre inspired um, porn, slasher isn't movie. Isn't it porn? Yeah, so, so she's an amateur porn actress and it's a group of like a porn crew that go and rent out this house from this old couple yeah. and then the old couple start killing them okay. so this is her and then pearl is a prequel pearl is one of the old couples her when she was younger um, ah right okay so this is this is the sequel so this follows maxine who's the survivor from the first movie uh-huh. um becoming like a porn starlet, i think so the first one's like a slasher the second one's kind of a psychological thing this yeah. one's apparently very like um, it's a genre I'm not that familiar with. It, it, I can't remember what they called it, but it's sort of like Suspiria. They're kind of going for with this one. Have you ever seen Suspiria? Okay. No, no, no. So it's yeah, it's um, it's gonna be a weird one. I think this one. Yeah, Pearl was pretty weird, but th- I think this will be almost like a combo of the first two. Do you know, yeah. this will, they'll have the slasher elements. I think there is a killer after her. Um, maybe it's like a stalker or something like that. Like that's yeah. obsessed with her. Um, but it'll have I think the psychological elements of Pearl in it as well. I'll have to I'll have to go back and watch X. I've been wanting to watch that one for a while. So yeah. I will it's a fantastic. I think one of the best horror movies of, of the last while. Mm-hmm. So like I, I really recommend. There's an amazing scene with an alligator in it that like I, mm-hmm. I I think it's one of the most tense sequences in any movie for a long time. Okay, I shall check. I shall check that one out. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, gee, gods. This is this is strange, isn't it? <laughs> so it, this is it, the it's dog. It's mental. It, it's crazy. So this is the Willy Wonka Scotland experience that kind of went viral in the last couple of weeks um, because it was shit. Like, he used AI Irish to con people, basically, to shop. People yeah. called the police, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah madness. Yeah. Absolute madness. So this is, like, an original character that they created for it called the Unknown, which is sort of, like, a villainous force in the... I love how they, they actually, like, someone wrote this. Yeah, <laughs> like, someone actually... Well, no, 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 no. Someone didn't write this. AI wrote it. So the story goes that AI pull, pulled out all of this bollocks narrative and they just went with it. They didn't... They didn't oh, right. It. So no... Okay. Yeah. So yeah, does so that mean... Oh, is that why they can make all, this movie? Because nobody I owns think, it. Yeah, yeah. So all of the... Okay. All of the... All, so obviously the actors who were involved with this debacle all had scripts to work from in terms of when they were talking to the kids and stuff like that. Yeah. And all of, all of the scripts and everything was AI generated, apparently. Wow. 
Yeah. So that it's crazy how far it's just, it's when are like Marvel gonna start creating supervillains with AI? I mean, they something. probably did like, ten years ago. Probably, yeah, yeah, probably. Half of the yeah. most recent movies are probably AI generated. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, this is the villain, the unknown. So this is getting a horror movie uh, spin off. It's from a Scottish production company. Very curious to see how this. I, I, I like. I, I think this will end up being kind of like a Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey kind of just so low budget, so shit. All um, I thought of when I was watching or hearing about this, to be honest, is that if you've watched the original kind of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and all that kind of stuff, yeah, that lends itself to some good horror. So if oh, definitely. you know, if if you if you put this in, and I don't think it will be because I don't think we'll have the budget for it, but if you put this in like the Chocolate Factory kind of setting, in an evil chocolatier who's who's experimenting on the kids or drowning them in the chocolate lakes and stuff like that it could be quite good fun do you know what i mean so well i, I i'm i'm wonder though are they even going to want to touch for fear of getting sued um because I, I don't know how they i don't know how they got away with actually doing a pop-up willy wonka thing because they don't own the like it was called yeah. it was called the mad like i don't think they actually yeah. even directly said it was willy wonka um so i, I obviously they're not gonna want to build well it'd be funny it would be funny if the sets look like this, like if the yeah, if that's like the production value of the movie yeah. itself, but do you know, what? I actually think the mask is is like this looks like a this could this could scare you in a movie. I think if you did it well, it's not going to be done well, but like I actually like the design of the character. I guess is like decent. Yeah. I mean, it's I think you you're doing it a lot of praise there. Quality design. It's it's a black cloak, isn't it? With, the silver mask. Oh, the, 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 the can, mask itself. You can is buy those spooky. masks in like the dodgy bookshops and things like that, not pawn shops. You know, like what you call it, the book people or whatever, and you just paint it silver. It's one of those face masks that you get for Halloween and Christmas and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, so is so is it's so is scream. Bollocks. I guess you know. Um, and I think the hair works with it as well. Like that's just the girl's hair that plays her. In it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the hair changes depending Maybe. on which actress is playing it that day. Right. Um, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't actually. <laughs> My, it must do if they ran this thing for every yeah. day, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it'd be funny to see like a blonde, like a short haired Karen haircut yeah. on this thing. Yeah. You, you guess. Um, I'm going to keep an eye in here to the ground on what, what's happening with this movie, though, because I think that's just it's just a fascinating story. It's not. Um, what's this? The Spider. This looks interesting. Right, so this is a, a Spider Man horror fan film. Starring Chandler Riggs from The Walking Dead, okay. so there's a, there's a there's a trailer for this. I was actually a little bit disappointed because I when I I clicked on the trailer, what I'd heard was Chandler Riggs starring in a horror Spider Man thing. So my assumption was that this was like a Brightburn, but for Spider Man. Yeah. So I was actually I was really excited. Turns out, and the, the production value is actually really good. Like it it's, looks well shot, and yeah. like obviously he's a you know fairly recognizable actor. Um, he actually looks the part of Spider Man, like Peter Parker. Like I actually yeah, yeah. think he would have made a good Peter Parker in his own right. Um, so I th I think what they're going for is like a like a, a man spider kind of thing. I, I'd imagine he he if that develops into a so they're taking elements of the fly, I guess, in this. Okay. But um, I'm not but sure how directly they reference Spider Man in it. But this isn't a real film. This is just a fan. It's a fan, it's a fan film. Oh, so it is an actual film. So there's actual. There's, I imagine it's probably 30, 40 minutes, but it's okay. a fan. It's a trailer okay. for a fan film. Okay. Um, and I actually I like the idea of that. Like I like doing Black, do Brightburn, but for other characters, I think it's yeah, cool. Yeah. A cool take. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing this. It's probably just going to be on YouTube when it comes out. So we'll and like there must them, absolutely, and there must be some money behind it if you're paying Chandler Riggs to star in it. So like yeah. I, I'm I'm very curious how this one turns out. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I knew the, I knew this would get you excited. Of course, I had to had to say this. So Matthew Lillard has been been talking lately, and he he wants to do an R rated Scooby Doo movie, and I just don't want anything more in this world right now than to bring that cast back and do like them now, like Scooby Doo, like for adults. But it's not happening, is it? I mean, it's not happening. They're, they're never going to allow an R rated Scooby Doo. Are they? Well, they did with Velma. Yeah, good. I I think I still haven't watched it. It, It's bad. Um, I I think there's a super untapped market for like an adult focused Scooby Doo thing. You know, I like Velma's Velma's sort of people hate watched it. Like that's getting a season two because people tuned in to shit on it. Um, but I I I think like you to take to take a genuine swing at like the Scooby Doo crew like older and like make it like an R rated comedy. 
I, I think there's like a huge market for that. Like that, be, that could be really successful. People want this so oh, bad. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You don't even you don't even need to make it R eight. Like just just have it yeah, kind of yeah. more adult focused. Yeah. Um, I don't think anyone who's was in it would. I know. Um, Freddie Prince Jr. has kind of talked about how he doesn't want to do it again. Mm. I think he could come. He'd come around. We, Matthew Lillard you know, obviously would love to. We talk about this a lot. Lots of actors say, oh, no, I wouldn't go back to it. Give them a big enough check, they'll do anything. Do you know what I mean? 100%. 100%. Right. My, my other justification for why this could happen is that James Gunn has yeah. a lot of pull Ash Warner Brothers at the moment, and well, he wrote the first two. I know that they scrapped a movie he wrote. Let's see how his DC universe pans out, because that could be the end of his career if it's dog shit. I really wish, because when, when they came to him and said, like, Oh, we want you. To, you can make anything. Like I wish he just said, "I want to do a Scooby Doo movie." Like I, yeah, I, would, yeah. I would love that. But he's obviously a fan of the franchise. You know, he wrote the first two movies. Yeah. So had, had, even to have him write, you know, he probably won't have time. But like to have him write it and produce, yeah. um, get someone else in to direct it, get that crew back together. I don't know how you explain how Scooby's still alive because it's been fucking twenty some twenty two years or something like that since the last one. So you know, but I don't care. Like <laughs> just. Just give us this. I want this yeah. so badly. I, I'm not sure logic really applies to the movie. Do you know what I mean? That's not. I mean, he's a talking I'm dog. So the talking dog. Yeah, that's yeah. not what I'm. Oh, that doesn't look realistic. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I, I would love this. I have to see. I would love this. I'm Please. less confident than you. I don't think this is happening. But I don't, I don't think, think it's happening this. either. But I, I would love it. even if even do an animated one, yeah. even just to get them into the voice booth and do an animated one, yeah. just like of the of these version of these characters later on. Like I'd love it. Would Please. I just want another live action Scooby Doo thing. So here we go. Our first look at Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Look at that, man. Look, just look at that. That it, it it's better than I could have expected. I worried that Michael Keaton is getting on in years from when he, he looks left, exactly the same. He, he doesn't looks look any like, different at all. Looks the same. Yeah. Identical. Like it's shocking how the how smile, close he looks. I, I just love it. Love it. I like the color I'm, palette of it. I'm so pleased. I bought I bought that action figure out of the hot toy. Didn't um, you buy that fucking three weeks ago? <laughs> I did. Yeah, I'm so yeah. pleased you bought that now because yeah, yeah. you knew you were going to be so pleased. pleased. Yeah, yeah. Hair hair looks great. Like this, the griminess of them. Like they got him back in that classic suit. This looks good, man. This looks promising. I'm not a huge Beetlejuice fan. I've, <gasps> so I've only I've only watched it. I think once, really young. So I feel like it's going to be. One where I'll come back and watch it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I get it now, I love it. We'll have to watch Beetlejuice 1 before this comes out, and then we can review this. It's on, I'll be right back for the week before it comes good. out. Yeah, good, good, so we'll watch it then. So, another picture from it. So, we got um, Catherine yeah, O'Hara, Jenna Ortega, Winona Ryder. Who's that on the right? I don't know. Is that, is that character from the first movie? Not that I recognize. No, I don't, not sure not who that, that I is. recognize. It's just funny is that, that Jenna Ortega. going to be. Will Ryder's husband or something like that. In which case he might not have appeared yet. Oh right, yeah, that probably that makes sense. Yeah, yeah probably Jenna Ortega's dad. Yeah. Um looks like Jason Justin Theroux, I'm not I'm not sure. Um but it is it's funny just Jenna Ortega suits this franchise so yeah. much. Like it's yeah. it's to, to a T, like she was born for this role basically. Yeah. Um yeah. I'm 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 passively looking forward to it. Like we should be getting a trailer and then I'd imagine the next show we do we'll probably have a trailer to look at or the one following that. It'll be soon anyway. Like this is out in October. We're in this, March now, you know. This for me, I'm super excited, but I'm incredibly cautious because, you know, when we're going live with this show, we've just started to see the reviews for the latest Ghostbusters movie and things. And yeah. Nostalgia isn't doing well at the moment, I don't think. I think we've had some really dodgy nostalgia fuel. You can't make a... It, films aren't a success just because the tie into something from the 80s. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's oh, absolutely. It's still, still got to have a good plot, a good story, good performances. So I, I'm hoping... Because I've got a lot of faith in Michael Keaton. Got a lot of faith in that cast. So uh, hopefully... My my sort of... The, I think, don't think... It's not a cash cow. I think you know, Ghostbusters was we're doing a sequel because you have to do a sequel, whereas yeah, this yeah. is like Tim Burton had an idea for another one. Yeah. And yeah. wanted to do it. Nobody made him do this. Yeah. So I have confidence that there's a good story, a good idea to it. Um, Tim Burton, I don't think he has made a, off the top of my head, a bad movie. Like, yeah. you know, they're all, you know, they might not be for you, but I think yeah. across the board, he's got a pretty great track record. So I'm sure this will be a really good, fun, yeah. weird movie, you know. 
kind of weird. Excited, excited, excited. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The Crow. No. First look at the Crow. Not sure. I was. I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I'm not connected massively with the character. Um, I loved the original look and aesthetic of the character. This is very different, and I know this might be more in line with the the more modern take and the comics of the the character. I'm. I think. I think when I look at it, I get scared because I get Suicide Squad Joker. Yeah, he's he very Jared Leto Joker yeah. style, isn't he? Yeah. Um, I I I I don't mind the look, the ta- and the face tattoos. I think again, like I didn't mind the tattoos on Joker, but the face tattoos were a bit strong. I just don't like face tattoos. But yeah. I think he he's supposed to be like a modern day thug. I guess that's what they kind of look like now. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Um, so I don't. I don't mind it. I like trailer the, was the good, mate. Trailer, trailer was good. looks great. I th- I think yeah. the the violence in it looks looks yeah. really good. The action sequences look pretty good. There's some really good striking imagery in it. Yeah. Um, this is the director is Rupert Sanders. So he did the Snow White and the Huntsman. I quite like their movies. I know yeah, I I don't, the like second them. one which he didn't do, but the second one is I think one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Like yeah, I've, I've, I've never this close to walking out of a movie. Um, but he's a decent director. Like I think yeah. he'll. Yeah, he'll he'll do a good job at this. And I, I think this will be actor. enjoyable. I love the lead. Ah, yeah, Bill Skarsgård's yeah. incredible. So yeah, I'm I'm sure he'll he'll give this his all. Yeah, hopefully it'll it'll blow away. Ooh, ooh, now, ooh, now, 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 we got a teaser trailer. This this is fresh hot. Off the, well, not the time you're watching this because it'll be nine o'clock on a Friday. But um, at time of recording, this is fresh and hot uh, off the presses. So we got a trailer for Alien Romulus. Just a little teaser. It's only about a minute and a half. Oh, but it's what good. You, what do you think of this it's, now? Yeah. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I loved the... Um, it's interesting because as soon as I watched the, tr- the teaser trailer, I thought, why have I not really got into that before? In terms of... You always think that the, the big aliens are the scary ones, you know? But the thought of face huggers legging it around the corridors and bouncing yeah. and jumping all over... And just like, you have to dodge last second terrifying. or it's got you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, terrifying. 100%. So I loved that element of the trailer. I thought it looked spot on. I'm yeah. really excited for this. It feels like a long time since we've had a good alien movie. So this is from Fede Alvarez, who did um, Don't Breathe, which is an amazing movie, I think. Uh, Evil Dead remake, which is also an amazing movie. So, I, you know, he's one of my favourite horror directors of, of late. So I'm stoked. I think it's fine. he was a fantastic choice to do this. Just to get another scary alien movie like and you just there's atmosphere just dripping off of this trailer like it just so the cinematography looks great like you said just little face huggers scarpering and jumping at people and they're trying to dodge and stuff that's that's I'm, horrific i'm so pleased that these franchises are getting a bit of a second lease of life because you know we're, we're fresh on the back really of predator prey which was just yeah it's done you know and now we've got a new alien film which looks like it could you know be fantastic as well great to see even just just from the trailer, I can tell I'm gonna I'm gonna love this. Like yeah. I'm gonna be if, if that's a, a taste of what the full movie is, then yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I think this will be very classic Alien One. Yeah. Stoked! It's gonna be great. Excited! 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 Yeah. Not so excited. Now, so um, we have a spoiler review for this up on the channel if you want to check it out. But just if you know, here's a little non-spoiler thoughts on the on movie. So this is Imaginary. So this is the newest help movie from Bloomhouse, and it's dog shit. Awful! It's so bad. I mean, yeah, you hate it more than I hate it. I, I detested it. I thought it was fucking horrendous. I think it's... I don't want to say okay. It's not okay. It's there not are okay. elements here. There are elements here of a really interesting universe. The idea, I think, is interesting. Mythology. Yeah. The execution is just awful. Absolutely. It's not scary. It's not a horror. It's predictable. The... It, it's just, it just cack. Yeah, it's it's not good. I, I think the marketing is quite misleading. There's not yeah. as much of the bear as there should be. It's it's other things. I saw when I was editing the review, I found I got a clip, like an officially released clip. Clip. I'm pretty sure there's a scare in the clip that's not in the movie because I, I actually got chills watching the clip. Mm. And I'm like, this wasn't in the movie. This the, this is, They've added yeah. this for this clip, like of a thing standing behind the main character. Yeah. Um. I just fucking hated the characters in it. Like, I really, I really d- detested them. There's particularly, like, a daughter, like, an older daughter character who I just found fucking un- unbearable for the entire movie. Um, and it gets into kind of, like, a CGI fest oh, later man, on. 
you know, the vinyl sequence. I just, I, I, yeah, like you said, there's a good, I, there's an interesting idea there. There's interesting things you could do, and it just doesn't do that with this. So, no, um, best forgotten. I think I, I, I yeah, don't see this. this. I don't see this continuing in any shape or form. I think it did decently. Then. I think it, I think it made like like fifty really? million, sixty million on a on a ten million budget. So they be, we might get another one. You know. Um, well, if, I mean, if they make really, improvements, if you take yeah. your lessons from it, like like, it, like it, I say, the the idea behind it is really interesting. You know, but yeah, the, like there have been there have been horror movies that started out with like this level i think like annabelle for example yeah. or uh ouija or um there's another one as well i can't remember the name but um like horror movies where this first one's shit and then you get someone in for the second one the second one's incredible like annabelle 2 is amazing yeah. ouija 2 is amazing so like i would like to see that happen here i just don't have any confidence in it yeah. to be honest but like I'm i'd, I'd like to see bit. that no Disappointing. I was disappointed because I was hoping for good things. We that. haven't actually had a good horror movie yet this year. That's the annoying thing we've seen. We've got three now. Late, we had Night Swim, night. Baghead, and all this. Late Night with the Devil. I'm desperate to see Late Night with the Devil. So that, that, are you going to see that in cinemas or are you going to watch it on Shutter? I, I think I want to see it on the cinema. I prefer on the big screen. You know? oh, fuck, I have to do a triple down on fucking Friday I, then I, and watch I, it. I, say, I can't do three, I can't do three mm. movies this weekend. In all honesty, well, we can wait. We, like, I don't mind leaving the review for that till next week. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. we'll see. We'll see. Um, bit of toy news. I know this isn't strictly horror, but I think it looks pretty garish. I don't. Would you class Mad Max as horrors? No. No, I don't think no. so. Yeah. Well, but I think it's, it's a, he's a spooky character, I guess. So yeah. I'll give it a pass. And I think you know the the under the mask detail is pretty pretty horrific. And I know you're a fan of this franchise. Just, yeah. So I just wanted to show this off. This is from Premier Toys, The Warlord, obviously based on Mad Max. That's uh, um, Morrison Joe. Yeah, that's right. He's going to be in the new one. He's in Fury House as well. Yeah, the trailer for yeah. that. Yeah. Um, the trailer for that was a bit odd, but anyway, we're getting that another time. Mm. Um, I think this is a pretty cool looking figure, actually. I love the mask detail. Sorry, the under the mask detail. I think that looks really interesting. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Look, it's pulled off. Yeah, so I don't know if I don't know if you're picking up Mad Max figures, aren't you? Are you going? To I have a one? Max coming. Um, I I don't know if I want to go down this route. I'd probably get a Fury House to go with him. Yeah. I'm not sure I'll get uh, get into getting War Boys and yeah. like because there's this guy, there's um the guy with the 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 guy with the electric guitar is coming out yeah. as well. So I'm like, yeah. I, I just don't, I don't have enough for a Mad Max display, you know. I guess with this, you've got to remember this is a third party figure, and it's got rooted hair there, which could go either way. So these yeah. these kind of production pieces, as I'm going to show you in a second, often look good when they first start advertising, and when you see the actual products, they look like cack. Um, so speaking of cack, what in the shit? Look, wow, that, that, that face sculpt doesn't look good. Yeah, doesn't. So you remember we talked about this maybe last year, I think. This was so the Shaun of, of your, the Dead on your figure channel, coming I think. out. Yeah. Um, this is now released. It, it's getting horrendous reviews. People are saying worst figure of, of the year. Um, the head sculpt, that particularly that open mouth one is awful. What you can't see particularly well in these images are the elbow joints. You can kind of make them out in, yeah. the, in the last two. Yeah, that's horrendous. pretty bad. Absolutely horrendous. It's like, but it looks like he's wearing like pads. Yeah, it's just just not not a good figure. So Ouch. yes, not not a good one for Shaun of the Dead fans. I'm afraid. No. Now, James, this is this is pretty sexy. So this is sideshow figures, um, and this is yes, we've had lots of Pennywises. But this is the the clown version from Very the nice. original. Um, I really like this. You get two different head sculpts, different hands, um, the balloons and everything. I I think this is pretty cool. A pretty cool looking version of Pennywise. I I I don't think I've seen fully the whole of the uh, ish like original. The original, like the yeah. two the two parts. I don't think I've seen. I think I was, I've never yeah. seen bits and pieces. I think I watched some of it when I was a kid, um, yeah. but I don't think I've seen the whole thing. Didn't someone else make this figure? Like a, I think there's been versions it's of to, this. Yeah, okay. So there's just yeah. the updated one. I like that. Yeah, the accessories look cool. The hands, yeah. the swappable hands and stuff. Yeah. Like it's spot on accurate to the Tim Curry. Great head sculpt. Great That picture looks, that looks like a poster. Like that looks incredible, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, quite. I mean, I'll not be getting this. I have to say. If I was to get an it, I would be wanting the more modern version, I think. Yeah, same. Yeah. But I but I do like this. It comes with the paper boat as well and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I do think it looks pretty cool. I, I dig it. It's pretty looks cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, couple of comic books just for you. I've mentioned these before. I'm just going to touch on them very briefly. The Devil at Wears My Face is coming to kind of its its natural conclusion now. I've talked about this book lots of times. This is a, a really interesting story about demon possession in Rome and things like that. Um, it's just heating up. The artwork is spectacular by Alex Cormack. Um, just a great book. If you like your horror ghost stories, recommend you read that one. If you like just stupid, and I do mean stupid, stupid gory monster flick type stuff skeeters is the book for you four issue limited series um it it's just there's no deep thinking in this basically alien type monster things land in a lab um, and get loose in the town infect animals and the animals attack the town folk that that's nice right. okay. um, but it's gory it's funny it's very very funny actually um it's quite linked, which I didn't like, James. It's quite linked to kind of um, drug use and um, weed and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the action and the horror in it is spot on. Really enjoyed it. Uh, well, when you say linked, what, what, what do you mean? One of the characters is a, is a massive stoner, and which, is en- which is entertaining all the way through. But by okay. the end, they discover that... Um, well, I'm gonna sp- well, you know. By the end, they discover that... Um, <laughs> blown smoke in the aliens' faces disorientates them, and you can kind of beat them that way. That's funny. So, lot, yeah, so they yeah. have the puff puff joints yeah, to blow yeah, the smoke. Yeah. That's funny. I yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's good. yeah. And it's really gory. So yeah, it, it's yeah. worth the worth a read. I enjoyed that little series. Yeah. Fish flies. I'm not going to go into detail because I'm talking about this over on Passpoint Comics um, channel tomorrow night. Um, well, it'll be last night on your way. So check out Passpoint One Comics. This is Fish Flies by Jeff Lemire. Jeff Lemire's work, I don't know if you've read much of it, it's hitty-missy, it's very, very intelligent and convoluted, and quite often with his series is you get kind of lost off and you don't know what the hell's going on. In this series... So it's like Chris Nolan, but for comic books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so in, in this series, first issue started off with um, a hold-up in a kind of a stall, uh, a store, sorry, and a young kid getting killed, and the killer going to this farm yard thing and meeting this young I think it's a girl, I can't remember if it's a boy or a girl um, meeting this kid and then becoming a giant fish fly and we've spent five issues trying to figure out what the shit is going on whether it really has transformed into this monster thing or if she's just imagining it or, or just what the hell is happening in the comic so I was going to give up on it but I recently read issue five and it's starting to come together now and I'm enjoying it now, now that I've persevered, I'm glad I did if that makes sense so it's um, it's worth it's worth sticking with. I think. I think when this comes out in trade paperback format, it'll be a, hopefully a decent read. I think. Yeah, I'll have to check that one out. Yeah, it's it's an interesting one. Oh. Right, end of the night topic. Just going to briefly touch on this. Horror is a obviously a, a, a genre that we are very very um, keen on and we enjoy a lot. But one of the things that horror does particularly well is this kind of jump and crossover with comedy franchises and spoof franchises. And there've been some brilliant ones over the year. There's been some crap ones over the year as well. But I just thought we'd touch briefly on some of our favorites. Um, Obviously we've got a whole host of great ones. I've got one of my favorites on there, which is obviously Shaun of the Dead and also Young Frankenstein. I know you're a fan of the scary movie franchise. Just, just, Just the first two. Just think, the first two. Yeah, the, the first one in particular I think is great. The second one is like, yeah, it's decent. And then it just goes downhill from there. Mm. So I've only seen, I think, the first one. I don't think I've seen the, the rest so of what, them. One is primarily, it's slashers. It's Scream and yeah. I Know What You Did Last Summer and stuff. Two is like the, do you know The Haunting? Have you ever seen The yeah, Haunting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Owen Wilson. Uh, that's like a big one in it. Uh, there's a bit of Hannibal in it. Um, but then it also crosses into like broader, like there's kind of a Charlie's Angels like gags in it and stuff like that so it's sort of strange and three just goes bonkers three's like war of the worlds um and stuff and like charlie sheen's in it and mm. shit I, I just wasn't a fan of that but i, I think that original one because it follows scream so closely like the, yeah. the you know scream it pretty much jumps back and forth between scream and i know he did last summer for the whole thing mm. fantastic parody i think i'll have to go back and rewatch uh, young frankenstein i haven't seen for years i have to be honest mm. i have to go back and check that one out but shawn of the dead an absolute yeah. classic you find shawn of the dead is it? like the best parody movie i think ever made probably uh, i don't know genius one of them. just genius one of them. and then we've got some more mainstream movies i guess we've got um tucker and dale versus evil i absolutely 
love that film. If anybody not watched, not, seen, not watched it in years now, I have to say, oh, that, but if, I enjoyed if it. If people haven't seen that, you've got to go and check it out. It is yeah. so just batshit crazy and funny. It's so basically funny. the the concept is that there's these kind of two very very kind red, like hillbilly red guys. Neck. Redneck guys, and this um, is it a group of people or just a girl? A group of people. Anyway, they're 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 mistaken by this group of kids, like you know, classic car kind of friends group. Um, think that they're killers, and so they're like escaping, but they they, they keep dying in accidents and stuff. And like, yeah, they they keep looking like they're the killers, but they're actually trying to help and stuff. It's it's very funny. It's. I mean, the best yeah. bits when when the person jumps in the wood chip. The wood chipper, and he's like, and he's trying to pull him out, and the guy comes out and sees it. Yeah, yeah, yeah and he looks like he's pushing him in. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah, it really is worth watching. Um, obviously, then we've got Beetlejuice, one of my my personal favorites. Cannot wait for the sequel. Mm. Then we've got um, Ash, good old Ash. Um, uh, Evil Dead gets sillier and sillier, doesn't it? Army of Darkness, there, the bottom one, but just an amazing franchise. And I know we've both loved the most recent movie in the franchise. That steered away, I think, from the comedy. Mm, yeah, so, definitely Evil Dead, and then Evil, Evil Dead twenty thirteen, and then. Eve the Dries are definitely more like straight horrors. You know, there's little little bits here and there, but like, you know, Evil Dead Two is a balance, and then Three is, you know, Army of Darkness is a comedy adventure yeah. movie. Effectively, I love Army of Darkness. Though. I think it's 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 great fun. Like, and it just, is. It's, 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 it's so good in that. It's just silly fun, isn't it? It's just silly yeah. fun. And then we've got again one of my favorite movies, and I would recommend anybody checks this out. This is Cabin in the Woods. Phenomenal. Um, Blown, I was amazing. blown away when I saw this in the cinemas. Like I thought it was amazing. Like an amazing twist but, um, in it as well. So like, it good. Coming. You know, from my from memory, so good in terms of I remember going to the cinema to watch this and and the trailers and things are doing a good job of not telling us what the film was about. Yeah. And it starts off with just that that I love the normality and the stupidness of the guys who are kind of working behind the scenes that you yeah, find the office later guys, on yeah, stuff yeah. And loved it. Absolutely, yeah. just gets more and more bonkers as it as it goes on. Oh. Um, but it just mixes the horror and the comedy so well. It's like I think a really amazing like homage to horror films, um, and it's sort of like almost like an origin for every horror movie. Like you could argue yeah. that every horror movie that's ever existed takes place in this world. Like that, that yeah. it's because of what's happening in this the, movie. The end is just insanity. Insane. Like yeah, it's you absolutely know, crazy. There's so many little so Easter good, eggs there. You know? Yeah. Absolutely, I and I, I, I would love. Uh, I know the way it ends; it's like hard to do a follow up, but I'd love some kind of continuation yeah, of that. Or, or uh... so for anybody that I know, we have a fair few people who watch who who don't necessarily watch a lot of horror. Mm. I'm thinking of Fuzzy and Efren and people like that. Please watch um, Cabin in the Woods, and then let me know what you think. Don't look about anything about it. Don't yeah, do just... the less you know about. The, I remember I gave this to uh, at the time I had on DVD. Um, right when it came out on DVD, and I yeah. gave it to my friend, and I said he'd never heard of it. I said, "Don't, don't look at, don't read the blurb on the back. Just stick this in yeah. and watch it, and you'll love it." And it was, James, yeah, he did. The, yeah. the more we're talking, I really want to watch this now. I want to watch this again. I think we, should, we need to do it, even if it's a special episode. Do it um, an episode of. of the, oh, we can uh, do yeah, if you want to. I that's I, I, I just, one, one of the best concepts for a movie, I think, ever. You know, really and great performances genius. as well. As yeah, you can tell, ladies and gents. We are gushing about this film. Please yeah. go watch it and let me know what you think in the comments. Um, now, I can't remember much about this one. I remember watching it back in the day when I was a wee nipper. Transylvania 65000, Jeff Goldblum. I, I remember enjoying this, but this is a one I couldn't talk about. I'll have to go back and re-watch it. Never heard of it. It's. It, I watched the trailer recently, and it's, it's a one of those kind of late 80s typical movies um, that's got some big actors in it and some great kind of set pieces, but I can't remember a lot about what happened in it, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's the one I want to go back and check. What we're doing the shadows end now, unfortunately. Um, I love the series. I love the series more than I love the movie. I have to see. I so I've only watched a little bit of the series. I love Bam Bam Berry though, so I need to yeah. go and watch the whole thing. But I yeah. fucking love the movie so much. Yeah. Like it's such a I, such a great idea and so I funny. Think this and, is, better than the, the movie personally yeah, I'll check and it out. i just love the concept of the characters i love you know the energy vampire and things like that that's just a great twist on things have you seen the energy vampire in mr no. colin robinson so colin robinson the guy in the, the the end there with the glasses he's a vampire but he's what's called an energy vampire so basically he just talks at you 
until you, oh that's funny you just, you just <laughs> Sucks the, Sucks life, the life out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's, he's hilarious in it. I that's good. It. That's good. That's, good. that's then, really funny. And then we get, of course, good old Zombie Land, which Land. is just a class. The first one is. I think the second yeah, one was really one. disappointing. Yeah, the yeah, first yeah. one's a great, great movie. You know, and yeah. and do you ever see the? They did a pilot for a show. Did you ever see that? No, I never saw that. No. So it was it was back. I think it was Amazon. So they were doing like this weird thing where they made pilots for like ten shows, and people yeah. voted on which one they wanted, and Zombie Land didn't didn't get it. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was it was it was strange. But I think the movie's really just the the rules to survive and yeah. thing the you know, the style of it, the way they did it, was really it was really fun. So yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I really enjoyed that movie. Um, like you say, second one not so much. Yeah. Um, Bill Murray in this is amazing as well. I love his yeah. his little scene. It's actually um, the guy who did um he went on to do Venom and Uncharted with Ben Fleischer. So career went downhill, I think, from <laughs> from this one. You know, he did a great movie and then yeah. never again. So that's that's everything that we'll have to talk about tonight. If we can just kind of direct you, you, you speaking. Just before we move on, I was, I was thinking, well, what bad like comedy horrors do you think there are? What? Because I saw one last year um, called The Blackening. It was fucking horrendous. I've not seen that. Yeah, I remember fucking you telling awful. Me like so yeah. bad. I mean, like I was shocked. I mean, the ones I, I mean, I can't think of any bad spoof horrors off the top of my head, to be honest. But, but some of the ones from like the early 80s and things like you've got critters and things like that i think it's in my mind as a good movie but i dare say if i was to go back i'm thinking critters ghoulies things like that if i was to go back and watch them now i'm not sure they would stand up if you know what i mean yeah um, yeah probably i think so i kind of tend to keep away from some of those just in case it, it I, if you want to you want us to tell you what's a really shit spoof horror movie go on leprechaun in it Utter dog shit. That crap well, you made me watch I, last week. That I is disagree. bollocks. I think it's, it's Absolute decent. It's bollocks. decent one. If we're talking uh, comedy horror, see how we've done a, like we actually didn't mention any that we've done episodes of Pop Your Back on, but like Gremlins. I think this is you know the incredible movie. Yeah. Um, so so uh, John Landis doesn't like when it's referred to as a comedy, but American Mall for London is typically grouped in as a, a horror comedy. See, I wouldn't call it a comedy main. I yeah, don't think I would call it a comedy. It's because, funny, uh, but it's not a comedy but I, film. Well, I like, tell you why I wouldn't call it a comedy because I don't. Th in my head, normally a, a comedy. If I think of Dumb and Dumber and things like that, um, American Werewolf from London, the conversation between the characters—that's just normal. That's that's real life to me. Do you know what I mean? It's it, it's not a comedy. It's just how people behave. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Oh, that's so funny. yeah, I mean, I, I love it. There's another really bad one. It's Tars Will Forte. It's an Irish movie. Um, and the name of it's escaping now. I think it's called, it might be called Paranormal or something like that. Um, but I remember I watched it with my girlfriend and we both fucking hated it. Like it was so bad. <laughs> yeah, it was just awful. Cack, little... cack, cack, cack. Jennifer's Body, if you call that a horror comedy, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. I've not, I mean, I've only seen that once, I think, and yeah. I've never gone back to it. Yeah. I'll have to see. Um, okay guys so that's your whack for this week we've been talking about all the latest news and reviews let one know in the comments what you think what's got you excited um, and let one know what your favourite horror spoofs or comedies are if we can just direct your attention to the latest I'll be right back where we'll talk about Leprechaun Leprechaun mm. is a piece of dog shit but it's, this it's, review it's, it's, is it's very good I think this room. review <laughs> God James you're mental I think this review is probably one of the best ones we've done um, but the film itself is crap. But please do go check that out because it is it is a great fun yeah. video. And then next week we got mm -hmm. the I'll Omen. Be right. oh, love it. I'll be right love back it. on the Omen. So we talked. Yeah. We did recorded this the other day. Interesting films to talk about. It gets very dark at the end. Our trivia just, section just, is pretty just fucking a touch. morbid. Yeah, yeah. Just a yeah. Touch. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to spoil it for you, ladies and gents. But please go and watch the Omen and then watch a review of it next week when it comes out. Yeah, um, and then over the next week, thoughts. we're going to have... So that's next Friday, and then over the next week, we're going to have reviews on Immaculate and Ghostbusters, and possibly the Late Night with the Devil, we'll see. We might leave that for the live show next next time. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to see. If, if we have time, because I'll, I'll see how much editing I get done this week, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much to everybody that's watched tonight. Please do drop a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button and notification button. And James, anything to add? Well, Peter, it's not Halloween, but I still think everyone's entitled to one good scare.